Hi again. Much like the alcohols, halogenoalkanes also come in vari various varieties. So let's quickly take a look at the structure of some. So here I'll put a halogen, say chlorine, at the end of a molecule. And again we have a carbon which is attached to one other. So this would be an example of what we would call a primary halogenoalkane. If I take that chlorine now or halogen and put it in the middle of my chain, and again I'll use quick skeletal structures here, that carbon is attached to two others, so this would be an example of a secondary halogenoalkane. And finally a tertiary one, I'll take my carbon there in the middle and attach it to a, a methyl group. And if I put the chlorine at this location here, I can see that that carbon is attached to three other. And so this would be a tertiary one. Whether it's primary, secondary, or tertiary, they all undergo a process that's called nucleophilic substitution. So let's take a little bit closer look at what's meant by that term. Consider this halogenoalkane. So I'll have carbon bonded to carbon, and let's put chlorine up here with these hydrogens. From our knowledge of electronegativity, we know that in this tug of war for electrons, chlorine wins with a bigger attraction for electrons, making this chlorine slightly negative and the carbon here that loses the electrons to the chlorine slightly positive. This positive charge is essentially what nucleo stands for, positive. Philic stands for liking. So what we have are positive liking substances looking to substitute. So if I bring something negative along, say something like a hydroxide ion, which has a negative charge, that would be attracted to that site down there. This is an example of what we would call a nucleophile, a substance that would like a positive charge. Other examples of nucleophiles might include say the cyanide ion. Again, the negative charge is being attracted. So let's follow this through with hydroxide. It would be attracted to this location and then as a result the OH would join up to that location and the chlorine would then be expelled. So Cl- would leave the molecule and the OH is now attached to it. So I would get two products, an alcohol if I'm using OH and I get this chloride ion. We can abbreviate that if we want to use condensed structural formulas with this equation here. So Halogenoalkanes undergo substitution much like we saw when we had alkanes and again the word nucleophile stands for the fact we have a positive liking substance looking for a place to substitute on that molecule. In our next program we'll take a look at the special chemistry of benzene.